Hello and welcome to the Crystal Mixing Tutorial. If you haven't done so uh, yet, please check out the introduction for an overview of what we're doing here. First off, we need to get the tracks opened. And down here in the information window, our main concern will be the uh, beat per minute. Here's the tracks. Now we'll go up to the transport in the metronome window and type in our beat of 95. Then we'll come down to the ruler and uh, select bars and beats. And this will come in very handy when we're trying to lock tracks later. As you can tell, all the downbeats are hitting on the two. But as we go to move the track around, they're not locking anywhere else. Just sliding all over the place. Uh, that's where Snap to Grid comes in. You come up here and you click this button. And now it'll click to every quarter. Oops. Control Z will get rid of that mistake. We'll turn that off for now since we won't need it till later. So let's play the track back and see what we got to work with. Got some clipping, so let's get rid of this. Okay, there's a song we'll be using throughout this tutorial, short and sweet. Um, we have a little bit of clipping in there, but we'll track that down a little later in the in the series. Right now, we're going to get things balanced. Now, I like to control the volume in the waiver window using the volume uh, controls available there. I like to leave the faders flat. That way, I can tweak them as we go along after everything's roughly balanced. But in the meantime, I like to control everything in the waiver window. And right now I'm trying to decide uh, which track to use to balance against. That's a little too low. I think what I'll do is I'll go for the, um, the kick drum. And we'll go ahead and start pulling down everything to match the vertical height of the kick drum closely. Don't have to be exact because all we're doing is doing a, a rough balance to blend the instruments. There's no um, stereo panning going on, no effects added. We're just doing this in the waiver to make it a little easier later on. So now let's go ahead and try to balance everything else against the drums. Okay, just looking at the tracks, we can see the main vocal is going to need a lot of work. So in the next video, we'll go ahead and tackle that by using the cut tools and show you how to glue and bounce. Mm -hmm. 